Hey guys, okay, welcome back to my channel. I am Black Muslim Mommy, also known as Kamiya. And today I am gonna be telling you guys why I left my husband and children in a whole nother state. Okay. <laughs> okay, anyways, so just a little bit of background. Um yeah, I left my 10 month old and my four year old and my husband in Phoenix, Arizona. Excuse me, I'm sorry. And um, I have some notes here just so I can make sure I tell y'all everything that happened and how it happened the right way. So, yes, I left them in Arizona and the reason why I left them, I'm not going to keep y'all like in suspense or anything. I'm going to just let y'all know. I left them in Arizona um, and I'm back here in New Orleans, Louisiana for school. I'm a fourth year pharmacy student at Xavier University. And um, they wanted me to come back because they're starting in person again and I know y'all thinking like if some of y'all know how graduate school works basically the fourth year you're wrote you're doing rotation so you're going to different hospitals and you're going to different um, retail um, community pharmacies like Walgreens Walmart and your independent pharmacies as well and so I guess the question is like why do I even really need to come back to complete my rotations in New Orleans. Um, can't I just do everything online? So that's my question. And I'm not gonna go into that because that's a whole nother story, okay, y'all? So basically I decided that this was the best decision for me and my family because the move back here, mind you, we moved to Phoenix because I got the okay from my school to do rotations in Arizona. Um, so I have completed some rotations in Arizona. And so I got the okay thinking that I would finish all of them there because of Hurricane Ida, which displaced me and my family. Um, the home we were in wasn't gonna be ready until like last month, well, or the end of last month. So, um, it was no way that we could have moved back in and it be a safe place for me and my family to live in. So th with that being said, as well as my children already being acclimated to the life we were living in Arizona, um, you know, amongst family, um, having a great, great, great support system, I decided that it was that I should just go by myself and that comes with its own sacrifices, of course, um, with me not being able to be with my child, my 10 month old, um, I'm not able to breastfeed. So different things can happen in regards to postpartum depression, um, stuff like that, especially if you're not pumping. But the thing is I am pumping. I was um, actually, I'm actually here now um, crashing with a friend, a classmate, and um, I was so stressed before it all happened that I literally thought I could have possibly been pregnant because Michael was nine days late, y'all. Nine days. I have never been late for my cycle unless I was actually pregnant. So I just knew I was pregnant. I took a pregnancy test before I left um, Phoenix. And it was negative. Um, I'll probably show a video here um, of me taking the test. But yes, it was negative. And I took a, well, three days after getting here, I got my cycle. So, <sighs> y'all, it's a lot. Um, so, yeah, I took a pregnancy test. Mm, it's been really stressful, I will say. For the simple fact that I'm not there at night for bedtime. Um, I'm very, very, um, what is it, active in my children's learning and 
just overall lifestyle or day-to-day -day life. Um, so being away from them is really, really hard in that aspect. So I, I've been doing stuff like sitting in my friend's closet, singing lullabies on FaceTime and <laughs> pumping and crying. Um, you know, and I have to pump so much milk it, I think I need, I've been pumping about 84 ounces, um, like for every three days. And I've been having to ship that milk out to him every three days, overnight shipping. And overnight shipping is like $72, $72.69. I remember the number now because um, I'm having to do it so frequently. And just recently, like today, I um, actually went to the post office and I went to the post office to drop off my milk this morning at 8.30 when the post office opened. My friend had to drop me off there and I walked to my rotation site. So the sacrifices that I've been doing... <laughs> are like unlimited right now and it's it's kind of crazy so if that boy when you grow up if he ever try to disrespect me y'all better get me because um it's not gonna look pretty okay <laughs> so anyways yeah so i've been doing quite a bit um this rotation i just wanted to give y'all an insight into what my life looks like right now it's crazy i don't have my family and I don't have my husband and I'm just, I'm very like just stressed. So definitely y'all keep me in y'all prayers. I am looking forward to finishing pharmacy school and being done with this part of my life. So I can have some sort of sense of stability, even though pharmacy in general is, you know, it's a lot um, when you get 12 hour shifts sometimes and sometimes it's way more than that so we'll see um, how that works out but I'm still ready to just at least be in the same city as my family okay so I have about um <laughs> I have about four more months so I graduate in May and I'm looking forward to that I have a couple more rotations to finish up here and then I will be headed back the plan is to definitely see them at least every two to three weeks um i'll fly back back and forth and doing that i save some money on overnight shipping i can take my milk with me and drop it off there and get to enjoy my family for a couple of days and come back so yeah this is my life right now um definitely keep me in y'all prayers me and my family in y'all prayers um and yeah, that's all I have. So peace and blessings. And yeah, thank you guys for listening. Go ahead and make sure you like and subscribe to my channel for more mommy vlog videos and other types of informative videos as well. All right, peace.